Good morning, my friends. Today is Wednesday, March 1st. It's Wednesday of the first week of Lent. It is day 51 of Be Formed and day 8 of our spiritual spring training, otherwise known as Lent. Um, just a reminder, please pray for us. We have our Women's Be Healed retreat this coming weekend. And uh, there's a link on my blog if you'd like to sign up for an hour to pray for the ladies and our team uh, for an outpouring of graces and, and abundant healing uh, among all those who are attending. On this eighth day of our spiritual spring training, the fundamental we're going to look at today is offering our gifts and talents back to God. It's I love to watch good athletes, no matter what sport it is, um, to, it's like poetry in motion. When you're watching a great basketball, football, track, uh, swimmer, whatever star it is, um, you see them glorifying God by using their, their gifts and talents. And each one of us has gifts, maybe not those kind of athletic gifts, but we all have gifts and talents. And that, that's what we're going to be talking about today. I think we all know the story of Jonah, right? God says, Jonah, I want you to go into Nineveh, which is this large city. They said it takes three days just to walk through the city. That's a big city. And I want you to preach repentance. And this is this would be like going into Chicago, Las Vegas, New York, LA, you know, and, and calling people to repentance. And most of us probably would act like Jonah and say, uh, no. And so as Jonah tries to run from this call, we know the story that he's swallowed by a large fish, brought right back to where he started. And then he says, okay, I surrender. And he starts on this mission. But have you ever been confronted or been in a situation where it's a very secular, you just, you just feel the evil influence in the, in the area. Um, it seems impossible, overwhelming to turn that around. That's what Jonah was facing with Nineveh. And yet, when he says yes to God's call, this one man in this large city, he starts re uh, preaching repentance. And what happens? Everybody, from the king down to, it says, even the animals uh, bowed their knees in worship of God. They put on, you know, hair shirts and started uh, repenting and, and turning to God. And so... We can run from God's call. And maybe you're out there thinking, feeling a call to priesthood or consecrated life or diaconate or marriage or to be you know, a lay minister in the church. Whatever God's call is, it's easy to say, uh, nope, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay in my comfort zone and uh, just play it safe. And as Pope Benedict said, you know, we're not made for comfort. We're made for greatness. And greatness comes when we follow the Lord's call. And so he invites us, he gives us free will to say yes or no, uh, but he invites us consistently and persistently. So Jonah starts walking through Nineveh and uh, and they repented. So three things I want to focus on uh, that we can learn from this story in our spiritual spring training. First thing is give all your gifts to God. They're already been given to you by God. He's got a purpose for them. Uh, you know, think about, you know, do you ever play with Legos or, I don't know, Play-Doh, whatever it is. When you create things, you give them certain uh, abilities because you have a purpose for it. That, how much more does God have that for us? Jesus fed thousands of people with a few loaves and a few fish. Imagine what he can do with us. Look at what he did with Jonah, one man in a large city. The second thing is it's wise to follow God's plan. <laughs> We can try to follow our plan all we want and we can do it, but we're going to thwart the plan of God, which is not a good idea to do. And so we need to be praying. We need to be listening with our hearts. We need to be listening also to what other people tell us. The people who know you well can probably point out your gifts and talents uh, in a better way than we can. There's also something called the called and gifted program from uh, the Siena Institute, we're trying to incorporate that into our diocese where people can discern their gifts so that then they can put them into practice. And then the last thing is don't be surprised by what God can do. Anything is possible with God. Anything. No matter how overwhelming, no matter how difficult the obstacle may seem, all things are possible with God. 
St. John Vianney was sent, he couldn't make it through seminary in, in, uh, in a couple attempts, and yet he was ordained a priest and not only turned around ours, France, this little town, but people came to him from all over the world. God wants to do big and beautiful things, or maybe small and beautiful things to you. I dare you to try to outdo God in generosity. It's impossible to do because his generosity is infinite. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for all the gifts and talents you've given us. Help us to offer these gifts and talents back to you for your service and for your kingdom. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. To you and to your families, buen camino, and God bless you.